He asked the father to take the cup from him three times. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yes, but on the third time, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but let your will be done. Yeah. In other words, what he was saying at that point is, Father, I'm too weak right now. My blood goes from my body. I've suffered much at the hands of men that I died for. But I know you're able to sustain me. I know you're going to be right there with me on the stake. Because you promised you wouldn't leave me. So that's all right. I'm not going to say I can't do it. Let's get it done. For this hour, I have come. You groomed me for this hour right here. Everything was good when I was eating with the tax collectors in the center. Everything was good when I was eating with my disciples that land on the beach, eating fish. Everything was good when I turned two fish and five loaves into enough food to feed thousands and had 12 baskets left over. But now I'm at the time of pressing. And the same yeah, that's with you when it was good. We're going to be with you when it's bad. The same yeah, that was with you when you was up, going to be with you when you're down. The same yeah. But not one time did our Messiah say, I can't. But he said, I can. All of us in here ought to stop grumbling and complaining about the little hard things you got to go through. Thank you, Father. You're alive enough to feel it. Thinking that even though you might have a little arthritis, you're alive to feel the pain. Even though you might have a headache now and then. Even though you might be shedding tears every now and then. Even though your body is hurting in places it didn't used to hurt. <laughs> but you're alive to feel it. Somebody ought to say, Come out, y'all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, y'all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he's blessing us right now. In the midst of all of our talk. All of our troubles, in the midst of all of our pain and things we have to sacrifice, in the midst of everything we've gone through, it's still got some other things we might have to go through. In the midst of it all, he promised he would always be with us, that he would never leave us. So my brothers and sisters, what can you do? You can do all things through the Messiah. Who strengthens you. There's nothing you can't do. Why? Because we are connected to him. And he's connected to us. So while we at it, let's just praise him. Let's just thank him. Let's just worship him. Let's just let him know how glad we are to be connected to the greatest force ever. And he has a name. Abba Yahu Shabbat El Eliyar El Shaddai. Our Father, which are in heaven. Hallelujah. There was a woman in the scriptures who loved him. Because she found out how good he is. You notice I didn't say how good he was. How good he is. And when she found out how good he is, she followed him from that point on. And she gave the Father, the Messiah, her best. She didn't say, I can't no more. She went in there and got what she had worked for and poured it all out on him. How was she going to survive after that? Know how she was going to survive? Because every step the Messiah took, she was right there behind her. Know what she was saying? If the Messiah eat, I'm going to eat. If the Messiah get in trouble, I'll be in trouble too because I know he's going to bring us through the trouble. So I'm giving him my everything I got to give. I, she poured it all out on him. Yeah. And then one of the disciples jumped up, you know, what's wrong with this woman? Don't you know we could have sold that oil, got that money and fed the poor? Mm. The Messiah said, hold it. The poor are going to be here yeah. until I come back. Yeah. They're going to be with you always. But this woman yeah. has done a great work. Yeah. For she has prepared my body yeah. for a burial. So whenever you preach this good news, tell somebody about that woman. To make it a memorial unto heaven. 
Father, I've given them the words you gave me to give to them. And I receive your word myself. Hallelujah. This is a message from heaven, and I receive it. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, let us not grumble. Let us not complain. But let us say thank you. Hallelujah. Anybody desire prayer? We're here for you right now. And when you come up here for prayer, I want you to pray too. Because while I'm praying, you can pray for me. Because the Father is moving throughout this world. And his way is going on right now. It's his will for you to be here. It's his will for you to hear the words being spoken. And it's his will to be in your life. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bow down. Those of you who can, I'm going to bow down right here. You can touch it. Father in heaven, we worship you in prayer today. We bend the knee and we bow the body. And we ask you to hear our humble cry as we supplicate before you. Father, we want to first of all thank you for your word. To make us understand. We should never say what we can't do. Because we connected to you. The almighty, true and living God. And we thank you for letting us be connected. Father, as we come today, we just want to give you the praise that you deserve. Because you have blessed us to this point in life. And we've enjoyed this life. But we know you got something greater waiting on us right now. So all we ask you, Father, is renew our strength. Let us mount up with the wings of eagles. Let us walk and not faint. Let us run and not be weary. This race that has been laid before us, and we are looking to win this race. We're not giving up through all that we've been through and what it might have to go through. We're not giving up because what we are saying now is we can make it. We can go all the way and cross the threshold of the kingdom. And we can hear you say, come, my good and faithful servant. For this is the desire of our heart. Now, Father, we put it all in your hands. The prayers we pray for others, we know you're going to answer them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are asking you today, and we are thanking you today, because we know that what we ask you for will come to pass. Hallelujah. In the precious name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Father, I just got word that my grandson, split his toe, had to take him to the hospital. But I'm asking you, Father, to let him be all right. And let a miracle healing take place. Send your Malachim. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rafa. Raphael, send him. Yes. Let him minister to that boy. Yes. Because I believe you have a calling on his life. Yes. All these things we ask through your beloved son. Yes. Remember the food, those who brought it. We ask you to bless it. That it bless us as we eat it. That it do all good and no harm in our bodies. Let it be a miracle here. From every bite that we take. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. For in that name we pray before you today. For your esteem, for your praise, for your honor. We look to heaven from our hearts. And we say unto you, Almighty Yah, Hallelujah! 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 